Hey YouTube, it's New 2 one coming to you with um, a FAQ, uh, Frequently Asked Questions video. Um, from uh, I've been gone for a little while, so you guys were sending me some questions in my inbox and also on my videos. And I, I answered them individually. I hope I answered them all. If I didn't, be sure to let me know, and I will. Um, I answered them individually, but I also wanted to make a video out of it because it was uh, quite a few questions. And just to kind of say hi to you guys again because I've been gone for so long. So anyway, um, the first question I got was from Makisha, M-I-Q-I-S-H-A. And she was asking me about the size of my locks and how many locks I have because she had concern about her locks being uh, too thick. All right, now, my I have 60 some odd locks, like 66 locks or something like that. And uh, as you can see, they are relatively, in the back especially, thick, but not as thick as I would like for them to be. They're, I guess they're thicker than most people's. Most people kind of, especially nowadays, go for the, the slimmer, smaller locks because they look more like strands of hair and you can do more things with them. Um, and Makisha has 90 locks and was concerned that her locks were too big. Um, I don't really know how 90 locks is going to get you big locks, but it might be that the texture of your hair is relatively thick or the type of hair that you have, especially if you palm roll, is given to, to puff out and expand, especially like when it gets wet. Some people like have really like absorbent hair that really like sponges up and, and puffs out, and so that might give you like thicker locks than what you uh, want. Um... But I would just say this to you. I think thick locks are beautiful. I think they look great. And I don't think there's anything wrong with them. But if you do want your locks to be thinner, uh, one of the, of course, you can always start over, take them out, and um, put in smaller parts. Or what you could do is interlock because interlock will kind of control the fuzz a little bit. It'll make it a little bit thinner. Like here where it's interlocked, this is a little bit thinner than down here where it's not. You know, you can do you can do that, right? You can interlock it. You can palm roll it, um, especially down at the base instead of like up at the root a little bit more frequently. Um, but not too much. I would say maybe like just twice a week while it's dry, just just not really palm rolling it and twisting it all the way up to your root because you don't want to stress your roots and like have your hairline starting like all the way back there you know like I have a sensitive hairline I, have to play, I can't play with my hairline so be careful with the whole palm only thing but you know just just rub it in your hands and that'll kind of help to uh, thin it out a little bit and pull it down some so that brings me to my next question which is from uh, you treed who was asking me about puffy ends and you know uh, I guess puffy ends and and frizziness uh, because those things are kind of part and parcel. Uh, what you should know about your ends being puffy is that that's just a natural part of the locking process. It is natural that your ends are going to be a little bit frizzy, um, especially towards the beginning in the first few, few years. Remember that locking is a process. It is um, a marathon, not a sprint. It takes time. Um, your hair is constantly changing, so in the beginning, the ends are going to be open and not fully interfaced, even if you do interlock, because you can't interlock all the way down to the tippy tip. So um, you're still going to have a little bit of fuzziness at the ends. Fuzziness never bothered me. I mean, and I can understand why it bothers some, because people have even commented on my locks, like, random people like oh your locks are so fuzzy like that's a problem or something they're dreadlocks who cares if they're fuzzy or not you know like the hell it's not a perm you know <laughs> or even like your afro oh your afro's so fuzzy today duh it's an afro what the hell are you talking about anyway <laughs> that's just a personal quip i have but what i'm trying to say is that it doesn't matter if your ends are fuzzy or not but if it does concern you what you can do is to just roll it in your hand like how i talked about for frizzies Roll it in your hand. Don't roll it until you start tightening up here. Don't do that. But just like every day, even take two fingers and just roll it in your hand a little bit. And if it's not to that stage yet, if it's the stage where it's not yet uh, interfaced enough for you to really play with it, if you're afraid of making it come undone, just leave it alone. Let your hair lock. And once it's fully locked, you'll see that a lot of those frizzies will go away. Eventually everything kind of just falls into place, you know, and I kind of 
I find that hard to believe, but it's actually true. With your locks, eventually everything will start looking kind of uniform and it is all the same hair on your head, so it'll look okay. It'll be good. And um, my advice to you is just when it's locked, wait until it's locked and then roll it between your fingers, you know, and just pull it, just just let it go together. And that'll like help to, to kind of bring the ends together. Another thing I found for me was that my ends never fully locked. And what happened was that the little, I have like a funny texture of hair, which I've already talked about, but like the little tendrils, drop curls at the end, eventually I rolled them so much that those little drop curls just kind of fell off. And then what I was left with was a closed end, you know, which was, was a was a closed end as you see here which was good I was really happy about that because like I was having these like little open drop curls um, another thing that you can do once your hair has locked I'm telling you let your hair lock first let it do its thing once your hair is locked and that can be six months to a year depending on the type of texture of hair that you have um, is you can do a fuzz wrap and fuzz wrap was something I discovered when not I discovered it is and I came up with it you know I'm not fronting like I'm Columbus or something like that but something that I found out about when I was in Jamaica, when I was getting my hair done there, was fuzz wrapping. And what you do is you take a lock that on its end, that has like, you know, fuzzy sticking out. I don't really have that many anymore, but let me trust, when I first started out, all of my stuff was fuzzy. There was just like fuzz coming out of everywhere. It looked ridiculous. But now it's not as bad because it's locked, you know. You take the fuzzies and you just wrap them around the hair wrap them around and that works on the ends if your ends are fuzzy you take the fuzzies right join them all up together right split them in two and then wrap them around wrap them around like you're braiding them with your um with your lock so braid the fuzzies and the lock stop it stop computer stop acting up um braid the fuzzies and the lock all together you know and then eventually you keep doing that and it'll interface and it'll lock up together. That's how I kept my fuzzies and I braided them together, right? And eventually it just works. All right, and then just do like that. And look, no more fuzzies. Fuzzies be gone. Another method that I saw was to take the interlocking tool. I don't know where mine is right now. Oh, my cat found it and was playing with it. Wherever it is, take the interlocking tool and uh, st stick it in to your lock and pull the fuzzies into into your lock. And I'll do a video on how to how to tighten up fuzzies that way. And finally, where to get the interlocking tool from? That came from Low Fat Milkshake eighty six. I love your name. Um, you can find it on Amazon.com. It's like a dollar something. You can find it at any black hair care or supply store. A lot of the times they don't know that they're even carrying it, and they are. And another place that you can find the interlocking tool is uh, arts and crafts store, like Michael's. Uh, because uh, it's used, it's actually originally a latch hook. That's the one that I use, a latch hook that's used to... Um, make carpets and stuff like that. Another thing that works is the crochet needle. So that's it. Uh, let's see. Oh, I made a video on why I interlock. Um, and that question came from GWEN Nash one or Gwee Nash one. Sorry. Uh, I made a video on that. So go ahead and check that out. If you want to know why I interlock my hair, because it's freaking awesome. And thanks so much for watching YouTube. Hope that this video was helpful. Sorry that I was rambling and rambling. But anyway, peace out.